love seeks nowhereness. This word nowhere is beautiful. It comes from two words. Love here. N O W H E R E. Or you can say it as no and no where w h e r e there was a person he was atheist he wrote in his room all around god is no where god is no where he had his daughter who was Three to four years of age, she was learning to make words. In the beginning, when children begin to make words, they will take one or two letters and make a word. So she saw written, "God is no man." She started pronouncing it G O D God I S is N O W now H E R E here God is now here. He wrote it God is nowhere, but the girl interpreted it as now here. That is why this word now hereness is beautiful. If you love a person, you just love a person. What will happen tomorrow? No one knows. Forget about all other things. Go on living this very moment in its totality. Remember, love seeks no awareness. Love seeks now hereness. Love is a phenomenon of now and here. It does not happen in future or in yonder. Now, hereness is not what you know or understand as. It is indeed now hereness. And then see the beauty of the word. Go to the very core of it. If it is really love, then in, it never thinks of the future. Then there is no problem of the future. Tomorrow does not exist for eternal love. Time does not exist when love is eternal. If you love a person, you love a person. What will happen tomorrow? Who cares? Today is enough. This moment is eternity. And all that happens in this moment is eternal because when this moment dies out of the womb of this very moment new moment is born and thus continues the process and we continue to live in an unborn future which is not there and we do not know whether it will come or not. Remember, tomorrow only comes as now, today. When you are in the moment of now, live totally that moment. Forget about the next moment. Because next moment when it comes, it comes as now and here. 
The past has disappeared in the womb of the unknown. Tomorrow never comes. Past never comes back. But tomorrow comes. However, when it comes, it is always as now. Real love is of the phenomena of the present and now hereness. Always remember anything real has to be part of awareness. It belongs to the present. It is part of meditation. Then there is no problem. And there is no question of attraction. And there is no question of fear or anything else. Real love shares. It is not to exploit the other. It is not to possess the other. When you want to possess the other, then problems arise. The other may possess you as well. Then things get even more complicated. And if the other is more powerful and magnetic, naturally you will be a slave. If you want to become the master of the other, then fear arises that I may be reduced to a slave. If you do not want to possess the other, then fear never arises. The fear that other may possess you never arises. Love never possesses. Also, love can never be possessed either. Love is total freedom if it is really love. You have understood its freedom. True love seeks you unto freedom. True love seeks freedom and it leads you into freedom. Freedom is the highest peak, the ultimate value. And love is closest to freedom. Love unfolds into freedom. It is not against, love is not against freedom. Instead, love is the stepping stone towards freedom. That is what awareness will make clear to you. Love has to be used as a stepping stone for freedom. If you love, you make the other free. And when you make the other free, you are made free by the other as well. Love is a sharing, not an exploitation. And in fact, love never thinks in terms of ugliness and beauty either. You will be surprised. Love never thinks in terms of ugliness or beauty, the duality. You say that your love creates ugliness and exploitation. It is wrong. It can never happen if it is love. Maybe you are calling something else as love. Love only acts, reflects and meditates. It never thinks at all. Yes, sometimes it happens that you fit with somebody and suddenly everything falls in harmony. It is not a question of beauty or ugliness. It is a question of harmony and rhythm. The mystical insights into life is that love seeks now hereness. And the moment love has discovered this now hereness, love becomes cosmic. Love assumes the form of godliness. Then love is bliss and fulfillment unto yourself. But man lives in mind. As is the mind, so is the man. 
mind is the prison and the reflection of consciousness as well. In the man is consciousness, yet man is not yet aware of it. This is the situation with each one of you until you are established in the self, in your beingness through meditation. You have forgotten this. The whole process of transformation requires awareness to be out of the prison of the mind and realizing it has never been in the prison. It was just thinking that it was in the prison, all fears and problems vanish. I am also living in the same world, but I have never felt for a single moment any fear, because nothing can be taken away from me. I can be killed but I will be seeing it happen. So what is being killed is not me. It is not my awareness. The very moment this understanding dawns, it becomes easy to get once again established into your beingness of fear. The greatest discovery in life, the most precious treasure is of awareness. The moment you are established in awareness, love, the unfathomable reservoir begins to blossom and shower its a splendor unto you. Without it, you are bound to be in darkness, full of fears and tears as well. And you will go on creating new fears in the absence of love and its awareness. There is no end to it. You will live in fear and die in fear and you will never be able to taste something of freedom that love brings and it was all the time your potential any moment you could have claimed it but you never did it is your responsibility to live life beyond mind in the realm of love, understanding, living moment to moment, overflowing this eternal bliss as love, sharing it in myriad forms with whosoever comes in your contact irrespective of the person, it becomes the light of the sun that continues to shine without any reservation or restriction on anyone that comes under its umbrella.